Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geekerhood. I am Penge and we're back with some more, another brick in the mall. So I have a nice cup of tea with me and we're going to get on with this. I thought I would show you the scope of what we've done. So we've had two video parts, probably what, about an hour and a bit in total. That's all we've got. That's what we've got. Look, uh, the scale of the map is staggering. It, it is enormous. So yeah, there's a little boundary around the edge, sort of a couple of the tiles where you can't build. Still, that is a massive space to fill up. We could be playing this for years. So it's taken us this long to get this little bit sorted over here. So here we go. We've got all this in. Now, somebody did point out they were very wise. They were very wise. Somebody said, don't leave open shelves. Don't leave a, an empty shelf. While they're researching the stuff, put something else on this shelf because people will still buy it. And then when they've researched whatever it is you would like, put, take the whatever it was on that shelf away and then put the new stuff on. Because otherwise you've got an empty shelf and that's no buying opportunities. So yes, that's a good point. So what should we put on here? On this shelf, let's have toilet paper. People are always going to need toilet paper, surely, unless they found something clever. Maybe some seashells, I don't know. But here we go. So we've got plenty of parking. We've got uh, the shop is sorted. We need it to be clean. Clean would be nice. That would be quite handy. But all we're waiting for really is we're waiting for... Guys, we could sell six more types of products. That would be very nice. Currently waiting for night hours to be unlocked. I think night hours will help because, you know, we're not selling anything right now. We're not selling anything, yet we're paying people. We are paying monies for people. And if we can sell stuff overnight, that's pretty good, I would say. And look, the, um, the hours change for the stock clerks meant that they could get in a bit early and restock things, which is good. Now I think, what's that? Checkout queues are full pause. I think we need a fourth checkout person. I think we need a fourth checkouty person. So let's go to the store, let's go to staff. We need cashier, cashier number four, please. So you're quite good at cashiering, 47.06. You've not got much in the way of patience, however. Patience determines at which rate customer satisfaction decays while queuing. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't have much in the way of patience. However, you've got sociability. Okay. And determines the ability for cashiers to cheer up customers at checkout and the customer's response to it. And that is obviously the speed of whatever they're doing. So I think what we're going to do is we'll go for you. You're an all-rounder person. Melissa Brady, 21. You've got kind of crazy eyes. You're like you maybe stood on a plug or something. But that's fine. We'll hire you. I think we hire you as a cashier. And you, let's pause it, can start at 8 and do a 12-hour shift like everyone else does. Like so. There we go. All sorted. What I don't understand is his, like, his 8 o'clock hour is... His, his, so the, the slider position is slightly different to everyone else's. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, yeah, they don't, they don't sort of slot into a specific slot if you like look they um as long as it's sort of more or less around that bit look, look so eight o'clock can be anywhere between there and there <laughs> like that okay fine so as long as they're all in and as long as that's fine there we go good let's speed time on a bit let's just get this till populated come on somebody somebody go to this till where is our new employee or does she not start today she comes to work in 18 hours okay so she doesn't start work today okay that's fine. I'm kind of cool with that. Okay, select. So there's lots of products on the shelves. These guys are working out the night hours, which is quite cool. You, who are you? Who are you? Did you go into the office? You went into the office through a staff only door to get yourself something from the vending machine. Is that not a staff only door? It's just a door. <gasps> That's not very good, is it? I possibly need to sort that out because they've got waifs and strays coming in to you know steal their vending things and use their toilets and stuff hang on how did i let that happen uh yeah get rid of that and let's put in a, a staff door whoops <laughs> that's a bit silly isn't it let's put a staff door in instead um does that just upgrade the door does that just upgrade the door straight away is that a door as well is that just a normal door or a staff door right click hang on pause 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 I don't think that did anything. Let's demolish the door like we're always going to. Dim de dum de dum. Obliterate the door. Right. And then let's put in a staff door. And yep, go back in and put in the staff door. You. Build the person with the hat on. There we go. Staff door in. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's probably a bit better. That's probably a tiny bit more secure. Okay. So what are the warnings? Yep. Yeah. 
Check out queues are full. And yeah, the other thing is restaurants. Okay, we really need restaurants in. Right, hurry time on. End of the day. Profit actually isn't too bad. Minus 245 for, for current situation is actually not too bad. Um, do we still have the... Um, where is she? Where is she? Maintenance center. Do we still have the cleaner? Yes, the janitor. She starts at seven and works for nine hours. Okie doke. Ah, now, this is what I was going to look at as well. So maintenance center six. Let's put time as normal. So we can change the name, can we? Can we rename it? Right, okay. So we can rename those. So maintenance center, because it's American. Maintenance center. Um, what do you want to call this one then? Maintenance center... Um, near office because otherwise maintenance center bracket six when we've got 30 maintenance centers that's going to be slightly pointless so maintenance center near the office that can just be office because we don't need it to say number five uh, restroom that can be office restroom so let's call it office restroom office restroom lovely uh, storage right so we need to name the store I know what I want to call this store not store two, because that's a silly name. We're going to call it Wee Hours Gaming Store. That's a better name. And that is because Dave from Wee Hours Gaming gave me a gentle nudge and said, hey, something that'd be good on your channel would be another brick in the mall. And I did have it in my Steam library. It had been there for months. So it's because of him that we're actually playing this game. He gave me the nudge to actually say, look, come on, get on with it. Play this game. It's perfect for Diggy Covered. Get on with it, please. So this is the Wee Hours Gaming Store. And soon, here. Now, the irony is, obviously, they're not open at night time at the moment. <laughs> they're not open between midnight and six. However, in eight man hours. So by the end of tomorrow, they shall be. So now we can rename this to be Wee Hours Gaming. Wee Hours Gaming Storage storage like that is it storage or stock no they call it storage i'll call it a stock room rather than storage and this can be we hours we hours gaming restroom do you know what i've noticed something that's really going to annoy me that the, the huh does not have oh you can't go back <laughs> there's no curse a bit it, did, it wasn't capital we hours gaming storage there we go so there we go. We Hours Gaming. Dave reminded me about this. So I thought, do you know what? Yes, let's name the store after him. And uh, yeah, there's a link to his channel description below. Go and check out his channel as well. It's very good. Did some very good Fallout for VR stuff. That was very good. I liked watching those. And yeah, he does a lot. Currently, there's some fighting fantasy things in there. Lots of those. It's all very cool. Go and check it out. Okay, so now we've got all of the things sorted. Everything's named, which is good. So we now know what all those things are. Rather than just saying like restroom brackets four or something, which doesn't mean anything to anybody, we should now... What's that? Without buying anything. Check out queues are full. Okay. Right. So the clean lady's coming in. She's doing cleaning. Good job cleaning. It. Right. Four people on tills now. Four checkout people. Are people now going to be sad at checkouts? Because they're still... Go over to the other checkouts, you fools. People are leaving because the checkout queues are full. Really? There's loads of room in the checkouts. Okay, so money is coming in. Look at this. It's four o'clock and we're, are we going to go, are we going to make a profit at some point? <gasps> Nearly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, the net profit is in plus. The net profit is in plus. The net profit is in plus. Yes, yes. Oh my, we've made 282. We've made 282, which, which is good, which means that uh, do I not get that reward? Turn a daily profit of over a hundred dollars. Do I do I not get do I not get that with my daily profit of two hundred and seventeen dollars? Um, oh yes, there we go. I've been paid it now. Right, pause. They've done the they've done the uh, research thing, which is good. So now we can open overnight, which is interesting. One thing I do need to do, I I want to rejig the checkout bit, and I want to build this out as well. So how expensive is it going to be? To build this bit out like that. 27,000. Okay, that's a bit expensive. One thing I did see, and I, I this was just by virtue of looking at the store page, I think it was. No, it wasn't the store page. It was the subreddit. The subreddit for Another Brick in the Mall had a banner across the top, a picture banner. And it had people that had presumably a screenshots of other people's uh, sort of malls and things. And they'd done something very clever with the checkout. So I think now it's 2.35 in the morning and we're not open at the moment. I think we can do the same that they've done. 
because they have done something clever with their checkouts. They've kind of staggered them almost. So they're kind of like that. Yeah, I think they're like that, look. So, or, or they're like that, possibly. But I think they're like that, so they can fit more in. Like that, look. And then maybe we could move that one to, say, there. And then that one, we could move it to there. Like that, look. So four checkouts, which is quite cool. And then we could move some of these things around. Let's move that drinks thing. Move you to just there. That's fine. Right, and then I think when you move things, I believe they do not get restocked. So we might have to then restock these. So what was in, I don't know what was in there, soda or something. So it's snacks, canned food, rice and pasta. So if we start moving some of these up as well, can we get another three up there, do you think, while we're doing this? Let's move that to there. Let's move you to there. Okay, yeah, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? It's not quite right, and we need this to be a tiny little bit bigger. Okay, can we expand it out a bit? A little bit, like that. 12,800 is very expensive. Very expensive. Uh, I don't know. Hang on a minute. No, it's, it's indicating that I need to spend money on foundations for where that wall is. I don't need foundations on the wall. I've already paid for the wall. The wall's already in. So if I did that, 8,400... That might be okay. Do 8,400. Oh, I'm just there as well, of course, because that wall sticks out. Right, get that done. Build a dude. Oh, hang on. Research. Um, do you know what? Frozen food. Why not? Let's get frozen food. Let's get ice cream, frozen veg, frozen pizza. Yes, pizza is very important. And then we'll unlock restaurants eventually. But for now, we just need to be making a profit off of the shop that we've already got. So let's do this. You can move all that around. Right, okay. So now they look... That looks a little bit better. So they're going to run in, do all the building work, diddly diddly do. You left some of the walls undone, I'm afraid. Uh, okay, right, pause. Now we need to set what these were. So that was uh, that was soda, I think, was it? Uh, let's have that as bottled water in the fridge. Nice, cool bottled water. Right, this was, ah, there we go, snacks and canned food. There we go, clean lady is in. The staff are coming in. This is very, 7.23 and you guys are coming in. It's very diligent of you. Well done. The shop isn't even open. Right, and then we want to take out the walls just there, like that. So expanding it a little bit at a time. Expanding it with the money that we can afford. Of course, floor tiles are very important. We need the right floor tiles or else I'm going to be a bit sad. Okay, so bosh. Right, okay. Floor tiles in. Sorted. Now we can move the other shelves around later on. We're not going to do it now. We're going to move the shelves later on. So let's just hurry time on. Let's get the day out the way. And let's see if we make any monies on today. Okay, the queues, obviously, they're not any quicker. They're not any sort of better, but they looked more organized. Now if we can just come down here and get out and leave. I might put a door down here as well, actually. That's a good idea. But right, these people are what? Are they angry because they're queuing? Yeah, we just need more. Th we need more tills, which is why we're going to put some more along here. That's my plan anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's get a door as well. Let's put a double door just at the end there, so people can actually get in and out a bit easier. Oh, hang on a minute. The, the floor tiles don't go into the door area. Oh, no, 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 no. We want that. <laughs> I want to have the floor tiles done right. Okay, yeah, so people are saying the queues are still full, which is a bit annoying. Right, build a dude. Come and build the door here. This might help. This might be a useful thing. Right, and there and there. Okay, so all the tiles are in. $2,317. Now, can we make a profit by the end of the day again? Yeah, no, yes, no, yes, no, yeah, 100 and, 100 and something, 100 and 209, 200 and 168. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Right, now, pause. Pause time. Now we've got some room to expand stuff out again. So here we go. Let's move these out of the way. So move that. Move you. That's breakfast cereal. That's absolutely fine. That can go in there. Now, you see... I'm sure at some point I'm probably going to get annoyed and go, oh, but everything's not organised. And, you know, I want breakfast cereal next to certain things. Right now, I'm okay. So this is sort of sanitary stuff. Again, toilet paper stuff. That's absolutely fine. And diapers. There we go. Very important. Uh, okay. We have gaming. So, yeah, okay. The queues are full. And, uh, yeah, there's no restaurants. We know that. The restaurant thing is fine. 
Okay, so the builder person should come in. They're going to rush in and do some work on these. Dum, 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 dum. Splendid. Right, so let's restock these things then. So we've got... Okay, that's just repeating what I've already got, is it? So we've already got... Uh, so diapers we'll put on there. We'll have, for some reason, I can't right-click that. Ah, because it's not in the store, is it? You massive idiot. There we go. Yay, <laughs> this might help matters. Uh, right, okay. Uh, where is it? Yep, yeah, pads and stuff. That'll do. And this one is spare. So let's have that as uh, soap and shampoo. Now, these should be fairly obvious because we will have big gaps. So coffee and tea can go next to breakfast cereal. And then sliced bread can go just there next to rice and pasta. So there you go. You've got your carbs. Two shells of carbs there. Lovely. Right. Hurry time along. Now, what I am going to do is actually... Let's have time going normally. Can we get ourselves another checkout? Let's put it there, look. So the end of that queue can then be the start of this checkout queue. Do you know what? Let's give it a, a gap. Let's give it a little tiny one square gap for people coming through the door. So we can have one there, can have one there, and then these are shorter queues, I suppose. Unless we put one there. Can people still get through, though? That's what I'm thinking. Can people get through and out? But I suppose this bit could be full of checkout things. This could be like snacks or something or extra stuff that we do. I don't know. Okay, well, we need another checkout till. So I think we put one there. I don't think that's a bad thing. So we'll stick another one in just there and then manage uh, the store. Staff, hire a cashier. Let's see who there is. Cheryl Singleton. Annabelle Meadows. Annabelle Meadows is very good. Yes, we shall hire you, Annabelle Meadows, and you shall also work 12 hours because I like working you people far too much and it's probably illegal, but there we go. So she's going to come to work the next day as well. Yes, okay, as long as that's in, that's fine. Right, cleaner lady, come and do some... There's rats. There's rats. Where is the cleaner? Cleaner lady, come and do some cleaning. For goodness sake, mop up or something. There we go. Where has she gone? Come back and finish off. There's loads and loads, loads of stuff that needs cleaning. Where is the cleaner lady? Seriously. Oh, there she is. Right, she's doing cleaning. Okay, now we've got five cashiers. Let's see how this goes. And we're currently researching... Uh, what are we researching? Ah, frozen food stuff. Do we have... Have we got alcohol on these shelves yet? Have we got alcohol? Oh, that looks like alcohol. Yes, that's wine. Lovely wine shelf. Okay, they're restocking things. Now look, look. It's five o'clock and we're making monies. We're actually in a profit. <gasps> oh my goodness me. Could we go over 500? Yes. Yes. That means... Yes. That means we get one of these, doesn't it? Turn a daily profit of over 500 means that we get 10 grand, I believe. We should do when it rolls over to the end of the day. Yes, because it's the end of the day, isn't it? It's an end of day profit thing. And we're near 2,000 total sales as well. There we go. Splendid. Right, pause that. I've been given an award. There's no restaurants. And the checkout queues are still full. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, okay. More foundations. Make this shop bigger. I can't afford to do that. Oh, come on. 15 and a half grand. Okay, right. It might have to wait until tomorrow, possibly. What I am going to do is... What I am going to do is manage the maintenance centre near the office. Let's hire another janitor. Has anyone got any particular janitor skills? No, but you are speedy and you're sociable. So, uh, yes, janitor job interview. Why does it tell you there? Sociability demonstrates the ability for cashiers to cheer up customers. She's not a cashier. She's a janitor. Unlock and buy new road accesses to have more job, job applicants to choose from. What does that mean? What does that mean? More road accesses. Oh, you mean up here? Oh, so if I connect to that, I get more people to see if I, to, for employment opportunities. Is it worth just building a massive road up there? You don't pay maintenance on the road, I don't believe. That might be worth doing. Just build a road. Yeah, connect it up to that one. Okay, do you know what? Let's see how expensive that could be. So there, left click to build road work. Is it real? Ah, ah, it's it, it. Okay, it's really expensive. Let's not do that right now. <laughs> yeah, of course, because it's so vast. It's such a big map. Uh, okay, no, it's fine. We'll be all right. 
we'll be able to get yeah let's go back and get another cleaner i'm all over the place i'm absolutely all over the place right another janitor let's get emily molina with a crazy lipstick let's get her and she pours so the other janitor starts at seven and works for nine hours so how about you start late how about you start at hang on what seven plus nine hours seven plus twelve hours seven six five four so she finishes at four so how about you start at four and work nine hours that'll do so you're covering 18 hours between it between those hours there's nothing can we set the other janitor to work an hour earlier? No, because there won't be any mess there by then, will there? Because we're still not open 24 hours yet. I want to get all this sorted before we open 24 hours. I think that should be okay. Because, yeah, the clean lady can come in now. So she's cleaning what happened overnight. Yeah, so the other lady will be cleaning things overnight. Yeah, we need to take these bags away. Come on. Take these bags away. Somebody. Somebody take those bags away, please. There's bags. There's bin bags that are going to attract rats and gross stuff. Why is no one taking the bags? Thank you very much. Lovely. Uh, okay, right. Pause. Uh, research is done. So now we can do... What was that? The frozen food stuff. Yes. Okay. Next, I think it's fairly obvious. Restaurants. Now, sales monitoring would be good. Because I would like sales monitoring. I'd like to be able to see what they're buying. But I think restaurants is going to be key. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've made the sales. Good. Right now, I should have enough money to build the foundations to do that bit. Hooray, at long last, <laughs> I can actually get this bit finished. And immediately we're gonna take down the walls, obviously, oh no, wrong button. So take down those walls, so obliterate those, which is good. And then obviously the flooring is very important. There we go, look, so the other cleaner lady is in now and she's cleaned all the stuff. So when people come in in the morning, it won't be grotty and dirty. Right, okay, so this checkout queues are still full. My goodness me. Okay, how much money did we make yesterday? 487. Okay, so I think now what we do is we've got four cashiers there. I'm going to put another cashier. Let's move you, move that cashier thing to just there. And let's get ourselves, let's go to the right page bit. Let's go and get ourselves another one like that. So the queue isn't as long, but we can certainly have two at least just there and then down yeah i don't know if i can put one there i don't know if that stops people getting through i don't like i don't know how people get to the queues do they need to come round, or will that block them off i really don't know because that would be ideal if there was another one there that would be great but i just don't know if that's how it works um should we try it let's put one there splendid and then let's go completely mad let's put another one uh how do we, did we do it before? Like that. Let's put one there. So that queue isn't as long as the others, is it? How long are those queues? One, two, three, four, seven, eight. They're ten long, whereas that queue is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's, it's only nine. So that queue is fine. So we'll do that as well. And then we need to employ two more people. We are employing an awful lot of people here now. So hire a cashier. So uh, oh, you're good as a stock clerk. We might get you in because we need another stock clerk as well, I think. We'll get you in and... Uh, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> you two are a bit rubbish. Right, Pat, pause. Uh, you can start at 8 and work for 12 hours because I'm a terrible person. And uh, hire cashier. We'll get... Oh, Charles is no better. You're better. Oh, no, but you're not as fast. But you're not as patient. Oh, good grief. Um, let's hire you. You're not very quick, but you're more patient and you're more sociable and you've got cashier skills so your lack of speed we've made up for your actual cashier skills okay that's fine so do that pause you can also work for 12 hours and then i think we're probably going to need another stock clock you've got stock clock skills so let's employ you and you can be starting when do the other stock clocks start stock clock at eight for 12 hours yeah okay you can also work eight for 12 hours so at the minute we're just doing that let's see if this works so i don't think at the moment they're all going to come in are they they'll probably start the next day so now we can put some shelves in no not shelves fridges because we can now get frozen things like uh, uh frozen vegetables and pizzas and stuff so let's have a little frozen area up 
here. Let's put four things just there. Wow, that was quick. Good grief. Okay, he was very quick doing that. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, that's not part of the store. Yep, 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 yep. I'm on it, I'm on it. Yay, there we go. It's fine, yep. Yeah. Right, people will be able to come to the checkouts now and help everybody. Okay, right. Ice cream in one, obviously. Uh, frozen pizzas in the other. And then frozen veg, both of these ones. Frozen vegetables. Splendid. Okay, have we unlocked all the food options? I think that's all the food options sorted, is it not? I think we've got everything in research. Clothing, electronics, media, appliances, tools, luxuries. Uh, yeah, we haven't got any food stuff. So I think in terms of actual products that we can put on the shelves, we've got everything. So now if I just sort of fill this out with more things. So let's have two of those shelves like that. And then over here, let's have tables so we can have one two three four tables and then more tables like that what's that no restaurants yes my people are on it my people are on it quit your whinging stop it uh, and then so there's tables there's those shelves uh, how about some more of the normal shelves the food shelves so let's get one of them there and then let's flip that one round let's have one like that and then we can have uh, should we have two like that? Or should we have two next to each other like that and that and one there and there? I don't know. Oh, let's just have a row of them there. We could just have a row of shelves across there. So a row of food shelves. Three. Now what's on, what is on this shelf? That seems to sell quite quickly. Toys. Really? Toys and milk. Milk also sells quickly. Oh, no. Pause. That's in the wrong place. That's in the wrong place. Demolish that. Um, yeah, we'll have that. And then let's have milk. Just there, on its own. Just sat there, because milk seems popular. So let's sell things that are popular. Right, okay, and let's populate these with things. So, fresh bread on that one. Fresh fruit. Fresh veg. Fresh fruit again, because we've got an extra one. Uh, that can be... Uh, uh, I don't know. That can be... Uh, which one of these is popular? Deodorants, that'll do. That can be household items. That can be... I find it hard to believe that people can pick these up every day. These are better. So, yeah, toilet paper one. And that one can be uh, cosmetics. Yeah, okay, that one. Okay, the builder guys need to finish doing all this stuff. We've got quite a lot of building to do. Come on, more building, please. Yeah, good job. You're doing a good job. Finish these ones. Finish this one. You've got one more to build. No, you've, you've done it, you. Oh, no, you've swapped. You've, you've swapped for the day. Right, that one was going to be milk, because the milk one seems popular. As does that as well. Fresh meat also seems popular. Crikey's. Uh, food shelf. Let's have ourselves some drinks on this one. So let's have some uh, juice on that one. And let's have ourselves some uh, soda on that one. Why not? That one. Food. Uh, what can we have on this one? Rice and pasta. Next to sauces and seasoning. Yes, that sounds like a good mix. And now, oh, sell 50 types of products. It's got 10 grand. Lovely. Okay, more stuff here. So fresh bread, fresh veg, fresh fruit, fresh veg. There you go. And it's sort of all even. And this one, food wise, let's have... Uh, it's next to the other stuff. It's next to rice and pasta, sauces and seasoning. Uh, let's go for canned food. Just there. Okay. Has everything got a thing on it? Yeah, look. And the people can't. They get through. They just walk past the, the till. So it's absolutely fine. They walk past the checkouts. It's fine. It's all good. And people are certain... 690... Oh, 487 yesterday. Today, 644 profit. Okay, right. That place is making some actual money for a change. So that is nearly selling 50 types of products as well. Nearly, nearly getting toward 50 types of products. So 5,000 total sales. We're halfway to that. 100 customers on site will never be able to achieve because we don't have enough parking, I don't believe. And 2,000 daily profit. I don't see that happening. So the big thing now is researching restaurants. We're just going to leave it going, I think. I might just sit and just leave this running on super speedy mode 
until restaurants are done because we can't do much else. The car park, maybe we could make the car park a bit bigger possibly. Hang on, let's pause. Uh, check out queues are full again. No available parking spots. Yeah, okay, so the car park it needs upgrading as well. Good grief, right, road work, roads. Let's just do what we've done here over to that side because then this will cope for the restaurant as well. So let's drag that out, that out. Customer parking on this side. Dum, 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 dum. And on that side. Oh no, it doesn't want to yet because the road doesn't exist. So I can't draw the customer parking in because those two road bits don't exist. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait for them to do their thing. We'll wait for the builder guys to do their thing. So I'll expand this out. We shall expand this out. Yeah, we might. Do you know what? We might get the 100 customers on site thing. If I build all this out and get all the cars in, this might work. And at some point then, we need to also switch the um, shop to be uh, 24 hours. That would be good as well. If we could have a 24-hour shop, that would be pretty good as well. And yeah, given the shop is called Wee Hours Gaming, and we sh uh, Wee Hours Gaming Shop, and we shut at night time, <laughs> it's a little bit silly, isn't it? So uh, yeah, let's sort that out as well. But the thing we need to do first is get this road sorted. So I'll make all this work, and the next time, when we come back to this, uh, I think we're, I'm just going to speed it on until restaurants are done. Until restaurants are unlocked and at long last they've finished doing the restaurant research it's taken many many days so i've made a few two two minor alterations one i employed another janitor because with the increase in these fresh sort of fruit and veg and bread bits there's this stuff here these sort of bags of waste and uh, yeah they were just sort of sat about on the floor and no one was going near them and, and then they were getting rats and whatever so now i've sorted that out there's another janitor to come and tidy up and do stuff. So we've now got three janitors to keep all this going, which is cool. And uh, I employed another cashier person and they've started work. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, eight cashiers. So, um, yeah, we're making some money. We made, we're making a profit, a little bit of profit. There you go, it's 273. However, that now comes down because we're paying people. We're paying people to obviously be here overnight and stuff. And then there's no profit coming in, so it kind of comes down. We did get the 10 grand from 10,000 total sales. And look how close we are to having 100 customers on site. 97 out of 100. Oh, it was agonizing. Now, we need to pick what we want to sell. Uh, what we want to sell, what we want to research next. So what I'm thinking is media supplier. Because then at the end down here, look, we can have some sort of little stores with books and things on. I think that's quite a good idea. Electronic stuff is laptops and stuff. That'll be a shop all of its own. Clothing supplier, I don't really want there to be clothing. Stuff. Appliances is just silly. Tools is silly. Luxuries possibly. There was a comment, actually. Someone did leave a comment to say, ah, if you unlock luxuries, um, like jewellery, you'll make a lot of monies. So that might be worth doing as well. I do quite want sales monitoring. I want to see what they're doing. But I think a media supplier right now so 48 man hours how many is that they would do what nine a day nine eighteen twenty seven thirty forty five it's gonna six days until they've researched that so um i think we're gonna go for this first so books dvds music video games and then we'll get luxury supply which is 96 hours it's so long uh, and get jewelry okay so let's research media supplier first let's get that done sorted in fact are they a bit of the way through it as it is no zero percent okay clearly not that however now we can build a restaurant. So we can actually build a restaurant. Now, here's the thing. I don't know what goes into a restaurant. I don't know how this is going to work. Like, I don't know what what, what sort of construction it needs. We can build uh, a fast food soda dispenser, a fast food warmer, a fast food cooking range, a diner table, food court table, restaurant table, cafe table, I uh, can't put the bar counters and stuff yet. And kitchen pass, none of that kind of stuff. That's to do with the cinema, obviously. So, yeah, at the minute, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> what does a fast food thing need? And obviously, I can now assign something as a fast food restaurant. So it says, uh, a restaurant where the customers order at the counter. No waiters, low skill cooks accepted. So it requires access, yep. Yeah. Cashiers, yes. Stock clerks, oh, goodness me, okay, it's going to be expensive. Fast food cooking range, order counter, fast food soda dispenser, fast food warmer, cooks, and storage. Oh, goodness me. Uh, okay, so first we want to do, I think, I think we'll, what we might do is just get try and get the framework in, and next time we'll come in and actually work on the thing itself. So I want to get those up 
there. Why can't... Oh, no, 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 not road. Customer parking. I wanted customer parking up the side of here. And then the idea being that we then... In fact, no, let's not have too much customer parking. Let's have staff-only parking just there so you can get into the actual place. Okay, right, you guys, finish building that thing. There we go. Good. Why? See, I don't get why I can build foundation on these things. Or is it because they're not complete? Yeah, look, I can build foundation on the on the pavement bit at the side. I don't want to do that. So let's build a... Let's pause it. So the thing is, I haven't got any money to build anything. <laughs> I, can't, I can't build anything because I've not got enough monies. Look, everything's just too teeny tiny at the moment. So I need to really maximise the profit from that place. So, yeah, look, like nine grand leaves me with three dollars, which is not very good, is it? Three dollars isn't particularly good. If I'm making ninety-seven dollars a day, that is rubbish. So, can I take out a loan? Finance. Finances. You must have at least two hundred dollars average profit over the last ten days to take out a loan. Oh. <laughs> it's like I can't even take out a loan. I can't even take out a loan to assist with all this stuff. Uh, okay, well, that's four more products. That's 47. Ah, okay. Okay, right. Time is speeding on. Time is hurrying on quite nicely. I wonder if, because we've got staff only parking, I wonder if we'll be able to get the 100 customers on site now because there's extra staff parking just there. So they're not parking in the regular spaces. I wonder if we'll be able to get 100 people on site. That would be quite good. I'll be quite happy with that. Come on, 100 people. Come on, we can do this. How many are there now? Uh, nearly, no, 155. 100 daily, there's a lot of daily customers. Just, just they're not all on site at the same time, which is a shame. Yeah, I need to start making some monies. I need to make some money, and I'm not entirely sure how to make money. And that is not, that's lost 150. <laughs> this is losing money. It's losing money. Right, okay. I think what we need to do is we need to open at night time. This is what we're going to do. Okay, right. Put, in fact, put it onto normal speed and then pause it. Because when you come out of some of these, it goes back to the speed you left it at. Right. Store. Let's... No, not a sign. Let's manage the store. Let's do this. Opening hour. Midnight. Closing hour. Midnight. 24 hour store. Now, this is going to get... This is where it's going to get very, very complicated very, very quickly. So, the... Stock clerks, you, we need to have stock clerks there all the time, constantly. We need to have stock people in. So I think they do six hour, sh or do they do eight hour shifts and we just employ four of them and they just we just stagger it ever so slightly. So we've got, how many have we got stock clerk wise? Uh, can we filter it down? Three, right, so we've got three. Okay, let's hire another one. For any of you good at being stock clerks? No, in fact, you people are all really terrible. You're all really poor choices for applicants. Okay, let's have Joanna Solomon then as a stock clerk. You'll do. I don't really want to pay, but okay, pause. So you can start at midnight and you can work until, say, eight. And then you... Uh, stop taking the filter off. So that's you, mid midnight till eight. You can work six. So another eight hours of that is going to be uh, six, seven, eight. No, hang on. You just work eight hours as well. You then come in at... Uh, how many hours is that? So we want her to come in at, say, two and work for eight hours. And that's good because that saves us a bit of salary as well. That's good. And then you... Hang on. You were both coming in at... Hang on, What? You're coming in at midnight, you're coming in at six, you're coming in at two. So you want to come in a bit later. So you want to come in at, say, six and work eight hours. Let's do that. Actually. Let's have you working at till eight. So does that mean that it's fully stocked all the time? I'm very confused. This diagram here doesn't really help. What's this diagram here showing me? So there's someone coming in at midnight for eight hours. So midnight until eight should be... Yeah, why is there a thing there? Midnight... That's you, is it? So that's your thing. Why is there no one here then, then? Starting hour, midnight. I don't, I don't get the diagram. I don't know what that's showing me, what this thing is showing me. I want this person to start at midnight of every day and work till 8 in the morning. This person comes in at 6 and works 8 hours, so that should be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2. So there should be someone there at 2 o'clock. Let's set her to come in at 1, then, so there's a bit of an overlap. So that's 1 till... 
8. So that's till 9 o'clock at night. And that person comes in at 8 and works 8 hours. So that should be fine. Uh, yeah, okay, that's gone a bit strange. I'm not entirely sure why it's doing that. Right, and these guys, we've got lots of cashiers. So now we need to make sure that these guys are all in as well. So you come in at midnight until... Uh, yeah, you can work 8 hours. So you come in at midnight and you come in at midnight and work 8 hours. That's good. Right, you come in at 7 and work 12 hours. You come in at 7 and work 12 hours. You come in at 7 and work 12 hours. Because most people are going to be here in the day, I would have thought. You come in at 7 and work 12 hours. Now, you guys can come in. What time do they start? Midnight. So the last two can come in at... If they're doing 7 for 12 hours, so they're going to be there at 7 o'clock. So you come in at 6 o'clock and do, what, 10 hours? So if you come in at 6 o'clock and do 10 hours... Yeah, I don't understand this. This must be now. This must be... So I'm probably going to have some problems with the store as it stands right now. Because, <clears throat> excuse me. Because I've not got the uh, staffing levels right currently. They need to readjust. I possibly did it a bit too late. I don't know. But let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's getting to the point where the shop would normally close. But no, look. It's still open. So the shop is still open. We are still making monies. Now, we've not got much gross profit as we did before, net profit or whatever. But look, so salaries has come down. Presumably because we've stopped people working so many hours and we've spread it out a bit. We don't have to pay them quite as much per hour. However, net profit of $28 is not very much, is it? So I still think we need maybe a couple more. But look, so now there's still people here. You're still all working and it's all very cool and lovely. And you're doing stuff and it's all brilliant. Right, can we ever get... Can we ever get any of these? Can we get anything like that? Can we get the 100 people on the site? Come on. 10 grand would be lovely. So let's see. Let's work, wait for another day. Checkout queues are full. Okay. We need to hire another person then. Uh, not a sign. Manage the store. Let's hire another cashier. Uh, you, you seem good all round. Ian Hess, 19 years old. Ian Hess, come to work in 13 hours. So you can start at 9 and work for... Uh, nine hours. That'll do. So you start at nine and come in in the middle of the day. Let's see if that helps at any point. So yeah, you're coming to work in 2020. Yeah, so you, you're on the next day's run. Okay, that's fine. So today, probably won't see much in the way of profit, I don't imagine. Although we are chipping away at it. 300 down to 500. Yeah, so I think we might be right. We might make a profit again. A tiny, tiny profit. Because at the end of the day... Because look, now they should be shut. They should be closed about now, but they're not. So we've got an extra four hours worth of trading, which is lovely. So there's one hour's worth, two hours worth, three hours of trading. So it dies down at night time. Oh no, we've made a, we've made a loss. We've lost 301. That's quite a big loss of monies. But uh, yeah, so people are still here. That's cool. It's night time. We don't need, we possibly don't need three people on at night by the look of it. Okay, yeah, we definitely do not need three people on at night time. So let's reassign one of the nighttime people. Cashiers, who comes on at night? Uh, you're at seven. You're at you. You. Frank Proctor, you've been there for a long time. You, come in in the daytime and say, do eight. And yeah, do eight hours. Oh, yeah, actually, do you want to come in a bit later on at the end of the day? Come in at two. You do two till ten. In fact, no, do 12 till 8. <laughs> there we go. Do 12 till 8, Mr. Frank. That'll do. And that's just sort that out. We don't need that many people there at night. We need more people there in the day. We've got our extra cashier now in the day, which is good. So they're there. Now, let's see if this makes any profit. So, and also, yeah, can we get the 100 people on site? We got to 97. We got so close. We got so close, but never mind. So... Can we get anywhere near any profit today? I think we might, you know. I think we might. We're making... It's gone into the green already at four o'clock. So we're making a bit of money. So maybe this is a good balance. Right, okay. Yep, look. 300, 400, 200. Yeah, so now the wages are coming out, but we're still in net profit, which is beautiful. That's what we need. That is exactly what we need. Yeah, and now the night people are on. Look, a couple of tills at night seems to work very, very well. That's really good. Three hundred nine dollars. Okay, this is good. There's still three people at night time. Why are there still three at night? I didn't think they were going to be three at night time. Who's on at night then? Uh, not you. You and 
He, hello, who is on at night then? Hang on. It's 2.42 in the morning, and yet there's three people still on. Okay, now how does that work then? Who are you guys? Your lunch until 8 in the evening. Your midnight until 8, so you should be there. Your 7 in the morning for 12 hours. Your 7 in the morning for 12 hours. Your 7 for 12 hours. Your 7 for 12 hours. Right, you. 6. Ah, okay, right. You start at 6 for 10 hours. So that'll be 6 till 4 in the morning. So you're on. And you do the same. Okay, we possibly don't need you to do that, Mary Doherty, Doherty. So let's bring you back. Let's do you a daytime one as well. Let's switch your hours round. So you can be 8 o'clock in the morning for 10 hours. That's better. I think that's probably more efficient. There we go. Okay, right. I, I realise I, I wanted to get on with building restaurants and stuff, but I don't. I seem to not have enough money. So what we're going to do is, I mean, we might need to get to that 10,000 total sales to give us some cash. We might need to do that. But if we're making profit, eventually, if we start making profits, so by 2 o'clock yesterday, we were making a bit of money. We were sort of breaking even. Yeah, so it's yeah, not quite as successful today, I don't think. I think today's working as well. Oh, hang on. The research people have finished that, though. Okay, and then luxury supplier. Let's get that. Do, or do you want sales monitoring? Uh, or a bus. Allows bus transport and the construction of 10 bus stops. That might bring people in. That might bring people in that can't drive. Yeah, buses. Let's get buses in. That could be quite useful. Uh, okay, no, so there is money coming in. This is good. This is good. Let's get to the end of the day. Let's see how much profit we've made at the end of today. And then we shall leave it for today. Yes, yeah, so I realise I wanted to get on with building other stuff. And I end up kind of just coming back and rejigging the current shop that we've got. But I think it's important. This needs to be our sort of... This needs to be our cash machine, if you like. This needs to fund us onwards. And if we're only getting 300 and something per day, that's not very much, is it? So now, what I'll do is, before the next part, I'll leave it running for a bit. We'll get this done. We'll get the bus transport done. So we'll come in. We'll put some bus stuff in, if you like. Some bus stops or whatever. We might take out a bit of parking and put some bus stops in. And um, yeah, that'll be quite good. That'll help with getting more people in. That might then help with the uh, 100 customers on site because people can come in via the bus. And then we might start building a restaurant. So next time out, we're going to build this restaurant. Goodness me, we're going to build this restaurant. And it's going to be glorious and fast foody and brilliant. And then we shall just carry on going and uh, make things better. And yeah, people are leaving because there's no restaurants. So once the restaurant's in, people are more likely to stay and get more food and stuff. Still cashier queue. Really? Really cashier issues? Okay, fine. So yes, there's plenty to do. There's plenty to do. The shop is big. We're going to put the media stuff down here as well. So books and magazines and what have you down here as well. So all that will probably help. But yeah, we'll um, we'll hurry it on until the bus transport stuff is done. And we'll come back. The next part will start when bus transport has been researched. And we'll put some buses and stuff in. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered. And I will see you next time. Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put out on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles. <laughs> By shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick. <laughs>